There's an old bag there. Or a new bike that's made to look old, I don't know. So I uh, added the uh, tin shield, windshield, whatever you want to call it, the little flap that sits on the front of the bike. Or the, not the front of the bike, the chin wind guard that goes on the helmet to help kind of ease the wind into the helmet to see if that makes a difference with the wind sound I've been having. Which I think it should. I can just, I mean, riding in it right now, I can tell it's a lot quieter than it usually is. And it actually is not blocking the air flowing in as much as I thought it would. Um, I didn't modify it. It's, this is an old helmet. Uh, plan on getting a new one. I just gotta save a bit of cash. I spent all my money on getting the uh, GoPro set up and I ain't got $400 for a new helmet right away. So I'll rock this one. It ain't been down. It still works. It's still comfy. It's just looking a little ratty in certain spots. The old fake vinyl starting to crack and break up. But it'll do. So hopefully you guys aren't hearing all the cracking and wind like it was earlier when I was doing these things. Which you guys probably will never see because I didn't put them up. Oh well. It'll be alright I guess. Man, that clutch has got some weird pre-play in there. There's got to be an air bubble or something in there because it's garbage. Don't know. I'll try to bleed it in the morning. I'm going to bleed it when I get home. So right now, rather than slipping, it's more of an on-off switch. Well, I guess you can go that way. So, we are headed home today. I guess I can talk about, uh, I don't know. What should I talk about? I'll talk about me. Uh, my favorite subjects. Damn, there's some serious smoke or something up there ahead. I don't know what that is. You can't even see across the freaking light. I don't know. Probably can't see it on the camera yet. Looks like it's clearing out for the most part, so hopefully I don't deal with that. No, but back to me. Um, who am I? I'm Jay, thus J-Dub. Easy enough part for that. Um, I do IT, and I ride a motorcycle, and I play video games, and also recently, I, well, not recently, for the last two years, I've started going to the gym and working out and better in myself. Uh, when I mean better in myself, meaning I've lost a hundred pounds in the last two years. Um, I used to be a 320 pound fat boy at 6'3", so I had some serious weight. Um, now I'm 6'3", I think I'm about 225. I started doing a lot of weight lifting, so I actually went up from where I was down as, on my lowest point. Um, trying to fill it out, get all solid, get swole yeah buddy and so that's where I am now I lost my weight the good old-fashioned way by watching what I stick in my face and making myself sweat until it started to fade away I recently started doing 5k's I do the the little fun 5k's they've had this was nice about living here in Denver is they got a lot of those I've done the the rave run where you're doing it with black lights and the color ones where they're throwing dry paint at you or powder, paint powder, whatever you want to call it. A couple charity runs and stuff like that. Which, I mean, 5K is not a crazy amount, but um, until last November, I'd never ran a mile in my entire life. Um, now I do a mile every single day when I work out at the gym, so it's, it's definitely a change. Um, yeah, I've, I've been a fatty my whole life. 
from being a kid on. I just turned 30 back in May and I'm in the best shape that I've ever been. So it's it's kind of cool. I'm enjoying not being winded and being able to do a lot more and feeling a lot better. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, you can feel free to put them down the bottom. I can kind of talk and tell you my secrets, which there ain't really secrets. It's kind of a lot of common sense stuff. Um, did it all on my own. No personal trainers or nothing like that. Just Google was my only trainer, I guess. So I, I had a question, I would go ask Google. The best answer question thing in the world. What the f is with this thing? I done killed it twice. This clutch is destroying me. Sorry about that. I'm trying not to use so many curse words. Maybe I'll add me a little beep. We'll make it like the movies or the TV. <laughs> but, um, oh, that's me. Um, what else I do? Oh, kind of a video game nerd. Um, not so much on the consoles. I'm part of that elite PC gaming master race that's out there. Which I enjoy. Um, I started motor vlogging for the most part because I saw Mr. Half Throttle doing some blog or vlog um, from uh, Panama, and I was I, w I mean I've rode motorcycles since I was three. Um, got a street bike the same day that I got my regular license. So I mean I've been into this for a while now, and I don't know. I've always wanted to bring someone along, but nobody really can enjoy it as much as being on the bike. You can ride on the back and it's, it's riding on the back. This, I think, is a bit more personal, I guess. Well, I don't know. I could have said a stereotype there with that car driving by with the blinking blinker going real slow, but I'm a nice person. All I can say is stereotypes aren't stereotypes because of made-up shit. It's real stuff that happens enough that it sticks. Let's see if I can go this time without stalling this stupid bike out again. I'm feeling amateur right here, man. Maybe I shouldn't post this. Been riding a bike for shit. 26 years, give or take. And I'm stalling a motorcycle, man. That's terrible. Definitely need to bleed that clutch. There's there's something in there. We've got air in the lawn, sir. Oh no. That's cool, we'll get it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I saw a assault helicopter come and do a rapid land. That's what's kind of cool about driving around the Air Force Base here sometimes. You get to see cool stuff like that. My love for the helicopters comes from being a video game nerd. Excuse me while I pass your way so I can get over here. No, but see, so, yeah, so back on to uh, what got me into motor vlogging. So I saw Mr. Uh, Half Throttle doing a vlog, and it just interested me, and so I started looking on YouTube for more vloggers, and I found several other ones. Mr. Bill Ma and uh, Accidental Broadcast was a big one, but he seems to be a catalyst for a lot of people from what I've seen, because he, he knows what he's doing. He's got this this down. He's, he knows how to keep the people excited. Um, he's who I can aspire to be, aspire, expire, uh, aspire is the word I want, expire would be a bad thing to do in this, uh, business that I'm at. <laughs> no, but yeah, so, live in Colorado, hopefully plan on getting up in the mountains to do some, uh, real riding to show you guys what's nice about living here. 
Um, Denver, well, more of being in Aurora, the suburbs, ain't a real interesting place to go ride. I'll admit that. These are pretty boring roads. Luckily, uh, I don't have to hit any of the major highways like the majority of people in the uh, Denver area do. So I can hit these little, well, I guess it's a side road, well, compared to the interstate at least. So, I mean, you don't even get to see high speed runs at all, which I don't know if speed really makes a difference in a vlog. I, I've never really paid attention. It's more of what's around you. Maybe I can just swerve in and out of traffic real cool and make it look like it's a twisty road. I don't know. Something kind of kind of bike is that? Uh, oh, it's a Beamer. It's a Beamer. Should have followed him. I could have made it through the light. Oh well. Gives me a reason to zigzag through all these people. But yeah, that's who I am. That's how I got here. Um, I guess this could be the end of the vlog. I don't really got anything else I want to talk about right now. Oh well. Have a good one, everyone. Stay safe out there. Au revoir. Sign on. And every other language I can't think of. <laughs> Adios. I'm a Mexican. I should be able to say that one. Half Mexican, that is. Alright, bye-bye. Look at them big old fluffy clouds. So pretty.